everyone and welcome back to Weave Elite Reads and welcome to a very very long video this is going to be so long because obviously I've got my bookshelves behind me that I need to tour I've got Cass's bookshelves that I need to tour because they're like part of the whole library thing and then I've also got two shelves in our bedroom which have books on as well so this is going to be a very very long video and I'm going to try and get through it as quick as I can what do you mean three my shelf has the Alex Ryder books on. Shit, there's three! <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of books to go through, and I mean a lot of books. Like, I own like 400 myself. Cass probably owns another like 200 or so, and then we've got the ones in the bedroom as well, and it's just. It's a lot. <laughs> count how many books you see and prove her wrong. Make it a challenge. Go on, count, count the books. Have a shot for every number that she's off. Ouch. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay, I'm going to dive straight into it, but I just want to do a quick little intro. I don't know whether I'm going to do an outro as well. We will see. I might be a bit too tired to do that. So if I don't, then please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and to my vlogging channel as well. And I'll see you next week. On with the video. This is going to kill me. I'm going to have to hand film this one because it's on top of my bookshelves. And so it's going to be a shaky one and I'm not going to show on top of all of my bookshelves because this is the only one that really has things on it. So that yeah. Books on it. Up top, up here, we've got my masquerade masks and then we've got the life of P.T. Barnum, Les Mis, Rose, Roseblood, Dear Owen Hansen, Good Morning, Good Night, Alfie Bowe's um, autobiography, uh, Phantom of the Opera and other gothic tales, Hamilton the Revolution, The Greatest Showman, stage to screen thing, screen to whatever, Les Mis stage to screen, and then these are all of my, um, I was going to say playbills, we don't get playbills here, programs that for shows that I've been to, so if you want a tour, like a little musical collection thing, obviously, they're all musical, they're all musical, and then I've got musical mugs here, I've got Danny Zuko up there, I've got my Shrek, my Jamie, Motown, Les Mis, Ghost, Rock of Ages, Annie and Waitress mugs. The only one I'm missing is Titanic and it's really sad and I don't like that. Over here we've got my little, what do you call this? Um, nail art thing that just has a heart in it. I've done this heart for ages but I'm pretty sure Cass has done this one. Because, you know, it falls out all the time. And then way, way, way over here we've got my little goblet thing that's got all of my letters for my light box. And then Cass is probably going to turn that on I'm guessing. Oh, it's dead. Okay. We just like got my light dreams. box. We just got my light box, which just says Waverly and Cassidy in it as well. And that over here is my top shelf. And, it's and then just around the bookshelf, I've got my fairy lights. I've got my rainbow laser I got at my first ever Pride. Fairy lights go all the way around down here. And then we've got my dream catcher here as well. And then down here, this is where I keep my tripod and there's something else that used to go there, I can't remember. And my P.T. Barnum cane. My my cane Your for P.T. My pimp stick. My Lucius Malfoy pimp stick. My cane for P.T. Barnum goes there as well because I've got nowhere else to put it. This is probably the best angle I'm going to get of my top shelves because my tripod just is not tall enough. Okay, so my books are now in alphabetical order from the last time that I reorganised them. So for Pops, as you can see, I have a little Boo Pop hiding there in the corner behind my lay. I've got Vanilla Peat Bond Sweets, Buttercup, Mulan and Jessie. They're all of my pops that I have on this shelf. And now getting into the actual books. So the first one we have here is Hashtag Trending. This is an anthology that I'm actually published in. And the reason it, this is my first book is because it's by Ball Academy. And I went by Academy being like the last author name. So that's why that one's my first one. Don't worry, I'm not going to rumble on about every book like that now. I just wanted to explain why that one was there. The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo, Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Adeyemi, Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda, Leah on the Offbeat, and The Upside of Unrequited all by Becky Albertalli, What If It Says by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera, Zenith by Sasha Owlsberg and Lindsay Cummings, The Leaving by Tara Altobrando, Because You Love Tammy edited by Amiri, 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher, Shadow and Bone and Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo, The One Memory of Flora Banks by Emily Barr, The Cruel Prince by Holly Black, Anna Dressed in Blood and Girl of Nightmares by Ken Dare Blake, The Darkest Minds, Never Fade, In the Afterlife and Passenger all by Alexandra Bracken, As Old as Time, A Whole New World, Once Upon a Dream and Part of Your World all by Liz Braswell, Ink by Alice Broadway, The Twisted Tree by Rachel Birch and Mirror Mirror by Jen Collins. Moving on to the next shelf, this one is 
noticeably less cluttered. So the only really gadgets he gives Moby things I have on here is my Lara Funko Pop and my Coraline one in the corner there with the little cat hiding behind my Dreamcatcher. So let's get rid of those. Oh, and I also have a Cockroach Angel necklace, which is actually hanging on my Mortal Instruments, not my Cockroach books, but it looks weird hanging on the Cockroach one, so we're gonna ignore that and get rid of that too. We also have this little thing I got for free. It's a Red Scroll Magic, Red Scrolls of Magic sneak peek thing I got for free, which I can't read because I'm nowhere near caught up with the series. The Selection, the Elite, the One, the Air, and the crown all by Kira Cass. Marked, betrayed, chosen, untamed, hunted, burned, awakened, and the fledgling handbook all by PC and Kristen Cast. With Kim Dollar, apparently. The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chabosky. City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, City of Heavenly Fire, Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess all by Cassandra Clare. Secrets for the Mad by Dodie Clark. The Bells by Danielle Clayton. Ready Player One by Ernest Klein and The Hunger Games by Susan Collins. Moving on to our third shelves, we again, this one is very less cluttered than this one up here. This one has so many pops on it. Um, but this one only has three and they're all actually limited editions. And I spent a lot of money on all of them. Um, other than this one, which was a Christmas present. So this one here is Logan Wolverine from x-men that was that's what it's and then over here we have my two babies which for both of them i spent like 120 pounds on so we have katniss everdeen and peter mellark from evidently the hunger games um and they are vaulted and also only sold were only sold in america so i spent a lot to get those two pops and i want the rest of them and then we also have my little mocking jay pin as well which is just a little pin i got online for like a few quid Ready for my Hunger Games collection? I don't think you are. Obviously the Hunger Games. Catching the Fire and Mockingjay. These editions are just so pretty. Then we also have the classic black edition and the gold holographic edition of the Hunger Games. The same for Catching Fire and the same for Mockingjay as well. The Weight of Water by Sarah Crossan. The BFG by Roald Dahl. The Miseducation of Cameron Post by Emily M. Danforth. The Maze Runner. The Scorch Trials. The Death Cure and The Kill Order all by James Dashner. Proud Compiled by Juno Dawson. The Fandom by Anna Day. Blue Bloods and Masquerade by Melissa, Melissa De La Cruz, Ascension by Victor Dixon, Engo by Helen Dunmore, Angel Fall by Susan E, The Curses by Lauren Eve, Hush Hush, Silence and Crescendo by Becca Fitzpatrick, On the Other Side by Carrie Hope Fletcher, and Daughter of the Burning City by Amanda Foodie. Now it's time for our fourth shelf, and again this one is very uncluttered now. I feel like that one is the most cluttered, other than the one that's just like down here, but we'll get to that in a minute. So on this one we have Dean from Supernatural and Jughead Jones from Riverdale. If I Stay and Where She Went by Gail Foreman. Spell Book of the Lost and Found by Maura Fowley Doyle. The Graveyard Book and Coraline by Neil Gaiman. Carol by Stephanie Garber. Beautiful Creatures by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. Gone by Michael Grant. Half Bad by Sally Green. An Abundance of Catherines. Turtles All the Way Down. The Fault in Our Stars. Let It Snow featuring Maureen Johnson and Lauren Miracle. Two copies of Looking for Alaska. Paper Towns and Will Grayson Will Grayson featuring Devi David Levithan, all by John Green. The Smoke Thieves by Sally Green. No, is that not with the other Sally Green book? What Sally Green book? The one that was just before John Green. I think it was half bad. Yeah. Sally Green. It will be now. Skylarks by Karen Gregory. The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Haddon. How to Stop Time by Matt Haig. Dead Until Dark, Living Dead in Dallas, Club Dead, Dead to the World, Dead as a Doornail, Definitely Dead, Altogether Dead, From Dead to Worse, Dead and Gone, and Dead in the Family, all by Charlene Harris, aka the True Blood series. The Mermaid by Christina Henry, The Woman in Black by Susan Hill, and Cruel Beauty by Rosamund Hodge. A little bit slightly more cluttered, we have Negan over here. We have Daryl and Rick, both of these two are from season one and obviously he's from like season five, six-ish. And then over here we have my Daryl mug, which on the other side says The Walking Dead and is also my TBR jar that needs redoing. The Unbecoming of Maradara by Michelle Hodkin. Everless by Sarah Holland. 
Splintered by A.G. Howard, Quiet at the End of the World, and Loneliest Girl in the Universe by Lauren James, Girl in the Mass by Marie Louise Jensen, Firelight by Sophie Jordan, Fallen by Lauren Kate, All Rights Reserved by Gregory Scott Katsoulis, Illuminae, Gemina, and Obsidio, all by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Chimera, Pet Cemetery by Stephen King, The Method by Shannon Kerr, The Walking Dead Days Gone By, Volume 1 by Robert Kirkman, Nowhere on Earth by Nick Lake, Auto Boyography by Christina Lauren, Boy Meets Boy, and Every Day by David Leverson, The Chronicles of Narnia Box Set, which I cannot be bothered to get out, which consists of The Magician's Nephew, The Lion, The Witch and The Wardrobe, The Horse and His Boy, Prince Caspian, The Voyage of the Dawn Trader, The Silver Chair and The Last Battle, all by C.S. Lewis, Christmas Cracker Jokes by Amanda Lee, Reflection by Elizabeth Lim, Five Feet Apart by Rachel Lippincott, United as One, I Am Number Four, Fall of Five, The Power of Six, and The Revenge of Seven, all by Pitticus Law. Okay, this is arguably my most cluttered shelf because of this section here. This is my little shrine to lemon. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. Moving on. So we have a little pacifiery thing, charm, I guess. You've got a wishes jar there. You've got a little cherub, a bottle with a note in it, message in a bottle that says when life gives you lemons, a plaque that I got given to me by my girlfriend's girlfriends <laughs> by my girlfriend that says angel wings may carry you now but i will hold you in my heart forever um we have a little elephant holding a yellow blanket and then this little thing you can kind of see here is a letter from my girlfriend to lemon and then here we have bell and chip a little crown here a little perfume school bottle here and a picture of me and my girlfriend my girlfriend is very prominent on this shelf apparently <laughs> i completely missed talking about this plaque I know there's a paw print here, it's supposed to be for a pet, but it says you're my favourite hello and my heart is goodbye. The Rise of Nine and The Fate of Ten by Pitticus Law. These are obviously moving on from the last shelf. The Young Elite, The Rose Society, The Midnight Star, Legend, Prodigy and Champion all by Marie Lou. A Shiver of Snow and Sky by Lisa Ludecki, Catwoman Soul Stealer, Court of Thorns and Roses, A Court of Mist and Fury, Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, An Air of Fire all by Sarah J Maas. Unite me, slash destroy me and fracture me, shatter me, unravel me, ignite me, restore me, and defy me all by Tara Murphy. And Wicked Lovely by Melissa Marr. These angles are just kind of getting harder and harder to film. But on this shelf, we have another one of my little school ornaments here. We have Jane from Twilight and Nancy from Stranger Things. Bird Box by John Malerman. Shadows on the Moon by Zoe Marriott. Red Sparrow by Jason Matthews. Beautiful Disaster by Jamie Maguire. One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus. Vampire Academy and Frostbite by Rochelle Mead. Cinder and Heartless by Marissa Meyer. Whole lot of Twilight books. So we have the white, the movie and the black edition of Twilight. The white and black edition of New Moon. The white and black edition of Eclipse. Just the black edition of Breaking Dawn. The Host. The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner. The Official illustrated guide and life and death all by stephanie meyer twilight director's notebook by katherine hardwick the night circus by aaron morgenstern a monster calls by patrick ness and this book loves you and is also out of place by pewdiepie not much in terms of decor again on this one we just have this little cat here holding a heart which i've had forever a little owl I got from the palette shop and a Percy Jackson bracelet hang. The Understudy by David Nichols. Queen of Hearts by Colleen Oakes. Heart Stopper by Alice Oserman. Baby Doll by Holly Overton. Forgotten by Cat Patrick. Witch Sign by Den Patrick. Wings, Spells and Wild by April and Pike. Catch Up Clouds by Annabelle Pitcher. Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rash. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. And Hollow City by Ransom Riggs. The Lightning Thief. The Sea of Monsters. The Titan's Curse. Battle of the Labyrinth. The Last Olympian, The Greek Heroes, The Lost Hero, The Son of Neptune, The Mark of Athena, and The House of Hades, all by Rick Rawdon. Unspeakable by Abby Rushton, Carve the Mark, The Fates Divide, Divergent, Insurgent, and Allegiant, all by Veronica Roth. So on this one we have two of my little skull perfume things and a little light up owl. It's actually a Halloween decoration but like that's not scary that's cute four and another box set of the divergent trilogy with four 
all by Veronica Ross. City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab. Ash Princess by Laura. Ash Princess by Laura Sebastian. History is all you left me. More happy than not. And they both die at the end by Adam Silvera. The Survival Game by Nikki Singer. Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare. Cirque du Freak. The Vampire's Assistant. Tunnels of Blood. Vampire Mountain. Trials of Death. Vampire Prince. Hunters of the Dust. Allies of the Night. Killers of the Dawn. Lake of Souls. Lord of the Shadows. And Sons of Destiny. Birth of a Killer. Ocean of Blood. Alice of the Damned, Brothers to the Death, and my first ever copy of Trials of Death by Darren Chan. The Grim Legacy by Polly Shulman, Pretty Little Liars by Sarah Shepard, Dry by Neil and Jared Schusterman, Scythe and Thunderhead by Neil Schusterman, Hunted by Megan Spooner, The Exact Opposite of OK by Laura Stephen, Lament and All the Crooked Saints by Maggie Stiefvater. And the only little thing we have on this shelf is Joey Triviani from Friends. He's so cute, look at him. He's got all the Chandler's clothes on. I love him, he's so cute. The Raven Boys, Shiver, Linger, and Forever by Maggie Stiefvater. Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck. Everyone's an Alien When You're an Alien Too by John Neeson. Girl Hearts Girl by Lucy Sutcliffe. An Ember in the Ashes and A Torch Against the Night by Sabah, Sabah Tahir. The Hate You Give and On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. Argente by Gita Trillis. Mother Knows Best and The Beast Within by Serena Valentino. Saga Volume 1 by Brian K. Vaughan and Fiona Staples. It's Kind of a Funny Story by Ned Vizzini. New World Rising by Jennifer Wilson. Numbers by Rachel Ward. And I Darken by Kirsten White. The Fifth Ways and The Infinite Sea by Rick Yancey. Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. Sky in the Deep by Adrian Young. Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zapia. Black Enough edited by Ibiza Boy. The Book Thief by Marcus Zuzak. Black Beauty, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Jack and the Beanstalk, The Secret Garden. 101 Dalmatians. The Little Mermaid, Rescuers Down Under, Finding Nemo and The Lion King. I don't know who any of these are by, they're all just kids books that I've had since I was a kid. Then I'm not going to be showing this shelf because it's literally just notebooks and stuff like that on this one. And then down here it's just a little Disney shrine and my Simpsons and Midnight's Cat Bowl which has gone everywhere. <laughs> Yay. Oh, and a stress ball in the shape of a... PS4 controller and a spidget. A spidget thinner. A fidget spinner. <laughs> okay, Cass has taken over because I'm tired of talking. <laughs> You'll get tired of me talking within like a couple of minutes, so don't worry guys. So I have a few pop vinyls decorating this shelf as well as a trophy I got from my school days for being a good student. Um, I'm a bit obsessed with Bob Ross if you couldn't tell. First one on this shelf is Shutter by Courtney Alameda, Simon vs the Homo Sapiens Agenda and Leah on the Offbeat both by Becky Albertalli. Next is Quicksilver by RJ Anderson, The Child by Fiona Barton, Rubber Necker by Belinda Bora, Hate List by Jennifer Brown, 13 by Steve Kavanagh, The Silver Eyes, The Twisted Ones, and The Fourth Closet, all by Scott Cawthon and Kira Breed Weasley. Murder on the Orient Express, and The ABC Murders, both by Agatha Christie. The Collector by Fiona Cummins, The Sisters by Claire Douglas, Perfect Death by Helen Fields, Panic Room by Robert Goddard, Only the Dead Can Tell by Alex Gray, The Chalk Pit by Illy Griffiths, The Humans by Matt Haig, The Lie Tree by Francis Hardinge, Surrender by Sonia Hartner, Into the Water and The Girl on the Train both by Paula Hawkins, Paper Ghosts by Julia Hebelin, Fluke, and The Secret of Crickley Hall both by James Herbert. The last book on this shelf is Death's Just Book by Reginald Hill. Onto the second shelf now and I only have one pop vinyl on this and it's from the Fantastic Beasts franchise of Harry Potter and his name is Percival Graves. Magpie Murders, and the word is murder, start this shelf off both by Anthony Hor Horowitz. Killing Mockingbird by Harper Lee. Girls in the Water, and the first one to die, both by Victoria Jenkins. Cats Disappeared from the World by Jenki Koromora. Stum by Jem Lester. The Chosen Ones by Howard Linksky. Friend Request by Laura Marshall. Coffin Road by Peter May. Ted Bundy, Conversations with a Killer by Stephen G. Michaud and Hugh Ainsworth. The Rag Witch by Garth Nix. Fingers in the Sparkle Jar by Chris Packham. The Exile with Alison Joseph. The Shut In with Dwayne Chauvinensky. The Black Book featuring David Ellis. Crazy House with Gabrielle Charbonnet. Cross My Heart, Hide and Seek. And Murder House featuring David Ellis, all by James Patterson. Aragon, Eldest, Free Singer, and Inheritance, all by Christopher Paolini. Serial Killers by The People and The Daily Mirror. Dark House and Dying Breath, both by Helen Pfeiffer. And Inside Alcatraz by Jim Quillen. So this is the third shelf on this bookcase and the last one I'm gonna show you on this one because the rest are cluttered and not really books. I have three pops on here. One is Hans Gruber, this one over here, he's from Die Hard, played by Alan Rickman. This is Deadpool dressed as Bob Ross, because I had two. 
And that is a Niffler from Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. I also have a vanilla scented candle over there from my 18th birthday from a friend. I have an award I got when I was around 16 for a script I wrote. The first book on this shelf is Nemesis by Brendan Reich. Friends Never Lie by Kathy Reich. 100 Things They Don't Want You To Know, The World's, Great, the World's Greatest Conspiracies and Unsolved Crimes by Daniel Smith. More Happy Than Not, History's All You Left Me, and They Both Die At The End, spoilers, all by Adam Silvera. Witches by Stacey Schiff. Snow Hill by Mark Sanderson. Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton. Ghost Hunters. Graveyard. And In a Dark Place all by Ed and Lorraine Warren. I Am Missing by Tim Weaver. Codename Verity by Elizabeth Wine. Rampage by William P. Wood. And Secrets of the Dead by Carol Ware. Okay, so the these next couple of shelves or the last light hole thing is going to be overexposed because we're right under the light bulb but this is now my kind of fandomy bookshelves um Daenerys Targaryen and Tyrion Lannister from Game of Thrones the music award I got from school the 10th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver and the 10th Doctor himself David Tennant and my lights were a lovely Christmas present from a friend they are potions jars and they light up with little sequins inside da Fire and Blood, A Game of Thrones, a Clash of Kings, a Storm of Swords, One Steel and Snow, A Storm of Swords 2, Blood and Gold, A Feast for Crows, A Dance with Dragons 1, Dream and Dust, and A Dance with Dragons 2, After the Feast, all by George R. R. Martin, Hobbit, The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, and The Return of the King, all by J. R. R. Tolkien, Clockwise Man, The Stealer of Dreams, Only Human, Winner Takes All, The Monsters Inside, The Nightmare of Black Island, Stone Rose, The Resurrection Casket, The Nightmare of Black Island, Wishing Well, Pirate Loot, Apollo 23, Night of the Humans and finally The Forgotten Army all by the BBC. So this shelf is a bit of Harry Potter memorabilia because my actual Harry Potter shelf with the books on are in my bedroom and I have too many pop vinyls and things to put on that little shelf. There is Luna Lovegood, Professor McGonagall, Ron Reasley, Neville Longbottom, Dobby, Alistair Moody, Remus Lupin, Sirius Black, Lord Voldemort, Lucius Malfoy and a Dementor. Behind them are some collectible bookmarks in the shape of the Horcruxes. Now this is the last shelf of mine that in this room that you guys are gonna see because the others are literally just full of DVDs. This is my pure Stephen King shelf because I love his work and I want to collect all of them. Um, two of these pop vinyls are Waverley's, the Church and Gage one over there from Pet Cemetery and the Chucky doll are hers. Mine are the Mike Myers and Annabelle Pop vinyls. The first book is Salem's Lot, The Shining, Stand, The Dead Zone, Pet Cemetery, It, The Eyes of the Dragon, The Dark Tower, The Green Mile, Dreamcatcher, Cell, Doctor Sleep, which is actually the sequel to The Shining, Revival, Finders Keepers, Lizzie's Story, Elevation, Dark Half, all by Stephen King. Okay, you're balanced on a bed, so the next few shots are gonna be really shaky, and I apologise, but over here we have a Dreamcatcher, which is what you can see just in the corner, I thought I'd mention that. Also, I don't own like any of these books other than some on the Harry Potter shelf. The rest are all casses. Bobby, Crowley, Crowley, Sam, Dean, Castiel, and I know your name. My sister. They have the same name. Charlie. Yep. That's her name. Charlie. And then we've got two Winchester mugs. Back here we've got the Men of Letters best. Diary, Bob Singer's Guide to Hunting. We've got John Winchester's Journal, and I believe that's just a ske sketchbook. No, um, my friend actually handmade that book. It's basically John's journal as a big book. And then back here, you can't actually see it through the pops. I mean, you might from your angle, but I can't. Is the Impala in a little glass cabinet thing? Okay, so as you can see, this is why Cass doesn't have all of her Harry Potter pops on the shelf because. I'm Harry Potter trash. There's a lot on this shelf, okay? All of these are mines, obviously. We have Philosopher's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, Order of the Phoenix, Half Blood Prince, and the Deathly Hallows. Um, I've also got Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Cass has The Quidditch for the Ages, Fantastic Beasts, uh, The Tales of Beedle the Bard. Beedle the Bard, and what's that? That is a Ultimate Harry Potter quiz book. Book, and then she's got her paperback copies of the Harry Potter books in here as well. So then she's also got a Gryffindor mug over there, even though she's not a Gryffindor. <laughs> but she's got the Have You Seen This Wizard Serious Black plaque thing she got off Christmas. 
This is mine I got from Lisa a few years ago. We've got Sirius, Hagrid and Snape. My favourite character. Um, we've got a Voldemort mug which I got Cass for Christmas. A little keychain of Harry Potter which I think I also got you. Yeah. Um, and then we've got my Slytherin mug with all of my bookmarks in and a Slytherin quill and randomly just a pug. Dog the pug. We got it on our first date as a couple. Okay, for this shelf, it's all just a bit random. We've got our Build-A-Bear birth certificates, a random clip, um, Alex Ryder books, I think it's called the Stormbreaker series. It's got Stormbreaker, Point Blank, Skeleton Key, Eagle Strike, Scorpio, Archangel, Shakes, nope, Snakehead, Crocodile Tears, Scorpio Rising, and Russian Roulette, all by Alex Ryder. No. We've got, all by Anthony Horowitz, sorry. Um, we've got a few do-it-yourself books there at the bottom, 99 Things That Bring Me Joy and another one I can't see a title of. Um, we have Listening to the Animals by Noel Fitzpatrick and The Highly Sensitive Person by Elaine N. Aaron. And then a two, two more notebooks, a pack of pens, a musical theatre ticket I went to see, my cat's collar, randomly, and um, my niece's toy. And then here we have all of the Hogwarts house coasters as well and that is all of my bookshelves and there you have it a complete and utter bookshelf slash library tour i guess i could call it because that room is literally a library and then two three shelves in our bedroom as well all of the books we own it's been a very long video i'm very tired i do not want to even think about editing this but i have to tonight because i have work tomorrow so yeah if you enjoyed this bookshelf tour it's definitely one of the longest I've ever done because obviously it's mine and Cass's collection and I've Maybe never call mine a collection. never had this many books before so if you enjoyed it please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already I post a new weekly booktube video like this every single Thursday and a new weekly reading vlog on my vlogging channel which is always in the description every single Monday so go subscribe to that as well and I will see you next week for another video. Bye guys. Bye. She moved my angle.